Yo peeps, back with your boy AK, and I've just arrived at the lab. Now, I got a course in, there's a pair of boots that I haven't been here before, so I've got to, of course, check them out. Let's see. Oh. Must be the power of pink. We finally managed to get a pair of the Under Armour Spotlight Pro 2.0s in the lab, and before I go with anything else, I'm gonna say this. I said power of pink in the beginning because it is October and that means it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So Under Armour have designed footwear and apparel across the board in all sports from football to rugby to even the NBA and NFL. And all their athletes will be wearing pink to signify Breast Cancer Awareness and their support. In the footballing world in particular, you've got Memphis Depay who will be the champion of the Spotlight Pro in pink. But you also have Trent Alexander-Arnold of Liverpool, Granit Xhaka of Arsenal, and Fraser Foster as well, who'll be rocking the clutch fit version, which will also be in pink. Now, there's only 200 pairs of these made, uh, and likewise for the clutch fit, but let's move on to the details of the Spotlight Pro in particular. What you're gonna find is that you have a dual lining. So you've got an inner compartment, which is kind of foam based, um, but also provides you with a lockdown. And then of course you've got the outer compartment, which is all synthetic. Um, and the first thing you'll notice on the upper is that there is a lot of surface area. You can see there are no distractions or minimal distractions apart from one thing, the zip. Now, this is a bold move, if I do say so myself from Under Armour, adding the zip to an upper of a shoe or to a boot in particular. I've never been done before, so it's a first. And let me know what you guys think about that, actually. Put it in the comments below. Do you think a zip is a good idea to have on a boot, yes or no? In terms of the upper itself, it is relatively padded. Now, again, of course, that's due to the dual lining construction, but it also is due to the thickness of the synthetic that you have. Um, and in terms of construction resemblance, if you look at the Adidas X17, Again, very similar in terms of the way it is formed. The feel, however, is completely different. Now, if you're a striker who prefers to have that bit of protection on your foot for those tackles, or prefers to have that bit of padding for striking the ball, this is definitely a boot for you. Speaking of similarities, the DNA of the Spotlight Pro 2.0 is that of the Adidas X17, the Nike Mercurial Vapor, and the Umbro Velocitor 3 speed. So with that in mind, the chassis is definitely one that contends with those three. Under Armour have opted for a carbon fiber chassis, uh, which means super responsiveness. And of course, you've got that bit of stiffness as well, which is required when you're at maximum velocity. Now, in terms of the stud placement, you've got two molded blades towards the edge of the forefoot here. And that means when you are planting to drive off and accelerate, you've got great traction, but you also have two molded studs at the back by the heel counter. And that's great for breaking force as you try and lose your marker. So all those strikers and wingers out there that try and nip in and out and get away from their defenders, this is the sole plate for you. The rest, however, are all conical studs. So again, allowing for that great rotation. In terms of the fit, now I found that because I've got a narrow to medium width foot, that there was a lot of sliding inside the shoe when I tried it on and the lockdown wasn't as great as I hoped it would be. But if you have got a wider foot, this is definitely a great option for you, uh, especially today where the market doesn't accommodate those of you who have wide feet and most of the boots are narrow. What's my verdict on the boot? Well, I actually quite like it. It's a comfortable speed boot. And the fact that they've been bold and used a zip is a positive. However, of course, my cause of concern is that if the zip breaks, especially during a game, what happens then in terms of your lockdown. Um, the biggest thing that I love overall is that when you buy the boot, the proceeds go towards Breast Cancer Haven, which is the charity that Under Armour supports. So that for me is a massive, massive bonus. That's it for me here on the Kit Lab. Now listen guys, give us a massive thumbs up if you as well support breast cancer awareness. Make sure you subscribe to us and I'll see you on the next episode. I'm AK, peace.